Woods, Starkweather, Yehara, or SASY neighborhood campaigning to support Jennifer Street Market. Gabriella Vaquera joins us with why the community is trying to keep the local grocery store right where it is. Gabby? Jennifer Street Market rents space from Chef's Ice Cream, a business that filed for receivership, an alternative to bankruptcy. But now neighbors are raising money to support the grocers because they say this store is essential to the neighborhood. The, the porterhouses are great, which I don't have right now, but the New York strips, the, the rib roast. Whether it's meat for his restaurant Thanks, I it. or groceries at home, LJ Cavanaugh has been a lifelong customer at Jennifer Street Market. They deliver every day. I'm just actually grabbing this for home tonight for dinner at my house. Like a lot of people living in the sassy neighborhood, <laughs> Cavanaugh is hoping his local grocer can stay where it's been for the past 40 years. Very concerned, very concerned. It's something that we're working with uh, Steve and the rest of the family to try to raise the money to keep them, uh, keep them up and running and, and uh, stay keep in the neighborhood. That's why the Sassy Business Development Association started a campaign to help support the owner's bid to buy the property. Plan A is to hopefully be able to go to this bid, bidding process and end up as the owners of the property. The funds raised will enhance the money owner Steve McKenzie and his co-owner have set aside for the bid. This is their store and uh, they are definitely backing it. And in return, the community is hoping to keep the store on the corner of Jennifer and Division. We're really looking to keep a cornerstone community business where it is and the ability to just walk a block away and go pick up some uh, groceries or get morning coffee on a Sunday and bump into your neighbors is something indispensable to a lot of us. The Sassy Business Development Association has a fundraising goal of $100,000 by December 15th. There will be events neighbors can attend, and we will have that information on our website, channel3000.com.